Hey guys, and welcome to the channel. Uh, so this morning we're putting together a 381. We've done these builds on, this, on the uh, channel before. We've done this particular build. So just kind of hanging out this morning, putting one together for a customer. And uh, I was getting ready to put the boot on and the, the intake boot and the carburetor and of course the, the fuel tank. But it brought me along to a subject that I've got a lot of questions about, not only in the email, but also in the comments about tuning. Okay, we hear a lot about rich and lean. What does this mean? You got high jet, low jet, you got idle screw. I mean, what does this mean, right? So we're gonna do a brief discussion at the bench and then I'm gonna cut to a clip where we're tuning in real application, okay? So this is what it is. Imagine it, a torch. If you've guys got a torch, okay? And uh, it doesn't get real hot. If you have the fuel just to it, right? It doesn't get real hot unless you add air to it, correct? Okay, so when we talk about lean and uh, and rich, so you would think rich means faster saw, more fuel, right? No. When we lean them out, that's when they're really cooking, okay? When you lean a saw out, that's when they're really, really cooking, okay? And what that just simply means, that simply means that you're adding more air to it making the fuel air mixture hotter okay and and uh overall uh more power okay now you can go too far you should have you a mine has escaped me because i run it on my mill sometimes uh it must be out having fun hanging out with the buddies i don't know where my tack is right now usually hangs right here anyway you wrap your tack around your spark plug three times and there is a factory setting not only for high uh, for uh, high speed for your high jet means full throttle, but there's also a setting for idle. Okay, so this is important too, and we'll go into that out in when we go to cut to that. Okay, so here it is. You go. This would be your high jet. This is the furthest one out. It's generally in most saws. It's your furthest one out from the cylinder. So if the carburetor sits in as such, okay. It's your furthest one out. Now, most default settings are one and a quarter out. So if you turn it all the way in, okay. See, this one was way. Of course, this is a parts kit. Somebody threw this thing together in the factory, chilling, eating fortune cookies. Okay. Hey, that. Uh, okay. So here we go. And there's a reason why there's a there's an indicator on these tuning screwdrivers. Okay. So that's the high jet, okay? It's turned all the way in. You wanna count it. This one's sitting straight up. So we're gonna turn all the way around until we're at one, okay? And we're gonna to go to a half on this one, okay? That gives me a good factory starting point, okay? Same thing over here. This is your low jet, okay? We're gonna turn all the way in. Let's go, out of curiosity, we're gonna see where it was set. That's one. It was one and three quarters, okay? Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing with this one, okay? We're gonna go one, and we're gonna go a half, okay? That's a good place to start. And, and when we get out to the wood, I'll explain to you why. Now. Over cap, because I'm not sure how well the audio is going to be when we do it. So, when you do this, you're going to want to have an equal medium with your uh, uh, your idle speed is going to be. Of course, we're going to have to have this one installed first to be able to do the idle. But uh, so I don't want to mess with that yet. But your idle speed. If you have these set your factory settings, your idle is pretty much going to be set at, you want to turn it up until you start to see your chain move. As soon as the chain starts to spin, bring it back until it stops. Okay. So, you're, and this works just the opposite kind of. So when you push it in to the right, right, more, more fuel, more fuel, you're pushing on. Actually, it's making, it's a, uh, it's a mechanical mechanism that you push in, that you turn in until, and it's pushing more fuel, more fuel, pushing the fuel pedal in, right? So you want, you'll turn it until the, the uh, 
chain starts to spin and then bring it back until it stops. When it stops, you know you're good. Now, when we go out to do the video, you're gonna see that I'm gonna be doing some trigger response on the low end. I want good trigger response. Ring, ring, ring. I want a real responsive trigger. Uh, how many times have we ran a saw where it's real? Now, not when it first starts up, because Husqvarna has a way of being kind of sluggish until it warms up. But I'm talking about fully warmed up. And so, uh, you want good throttle response. Ring, ring. So, leaning it out would give you real fast trigger response. Now, you can get too much where it'll bog. So, there's a happy medium there. And again, one to one and a half turns. Some saws and some Chinese carburetors are going to require different just because that's the default setting, especially for a Chinese carburetor, doesn't mean you're exactly there. But majority of the time, it's going to be that, guys. Okay? Okay. So, same thing with the high jet. Now, the high jet is your high RPM. Again, I can't stress this enough to make sure you stay within your factory specs. You can do it by ear, though. You really can. Just make sure you ain't got that thing. The more you turn the thing in, the high jet, the more you turn it in, the more air. You're leaning it out. Okay? And leaning it out adds again more air more hot fuel combustion at the top of your cylinder okay and hotter hotter explosion okay guys it means a hotter hotter explosion just like that torch we were talking about okay if you if you lean it out too far you can blow up your saw so be careful guys okay so if you're doing it by ear just make sure you got a real good zip to it and make sure that you it ain't just screaming crazy you know what your saw is supposed to sound like don't just have it flying, okay? Um, and if you're breaking it in, keep it at about one and a half to maybe one and three quarters out. That means more. That means more fuel, more oil to your cylinder for break-in, okay? And again, that's out, allowing more fuel to go through the jet, okay? So let's go ahead and cut to that that clip, and we'll come back. Okay. So here we go. We're going to give you the demonstration of the of the tuning that we're talking about. And so I'm going to start with the uh, low jet, which is basically the, the low side that's bringing you up, okay, when you go to uh, your trigger response, okay? We talked about air-fuel mixture and leaning, leaning it out means more air, more zip, okay? But you can have too much zip and bog it out, okay? So there's an equal medium. I'm going to show you how to do it.
Don't do this at home. Watch what you're doing. Use your tachometer for you don't over tune your, uh, over rep your saw, guys. I kind of got a knack of it, so I know about where it can run. Uh, but uh, use your tachometer. It, it's really important to do so. I can't find mine. Uh, never mind all that. But uh, so I appreciate it, and uh, we'll cut back to uh, whatever I was talking about. <laughs> so there you have it, guys. Pretty easy to tune your saws. Nothing to it, guys. Really isn't. A lot of people it just they make it. Oh, they overcomplicate it. I was one of them that overcomplicated. And we, like I said, we hear a lot of things here on YouTube about lean, rich, and what does this mean, you know? And so, pretty. Uh, just wanted to give an example out there today of of how to tune your carburetor and why this why rich means uh, 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 slower and why lean means faster. Okay, guys. So, hey, I appreciate you stopping by. Please like and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And guys, as always, stay safe.